Welcome to the Madison College's Telepresence Classrooms. These classrooms are on the cutting edge of distance education technology, and we're excited to get you started on your telepresence journey. Madison College is the first school in the nation to use Cisco's telepresence technology for classroom instruction. The beauty of this technology is its simplicity. You, as an instructor, are able to focus on your classroom objectives because each room has been standardized and simplified. Let's get you familiar with the room, and in no time, you'll be ready to practice the classroom experience. Ten minutes before each class, the door to the telepresence classroom will automatically unlock. It will relock five minutes after the class time has ended. Once inside the room, the classroom light switch should be set at scene one. Do not use the maintenance light switch located behind the door as it makes the room too bright to use the cameras properly. The shroud around the unit lights up automatically when the session is started. It also turns off automatically several minutes after you end the call. Please don't hang anything off the wall paneling in a telepresence classroom. The room has special acoustic paneling that helps control the quality of sound in the room. Also make sure to close the door at the beginning of the class as this will add to the quality of sound. There is one microphone in each section of each row. Pushing any single mute button will mute all of the microphones in the classroom that you are in. After pushing the mute button, a red light and a mute button symbol will be visible on the middle plasma display. Nothing will be visible to alert other connections that you're muted. You can only mute the room you're currently in. Sound from the other location comes through the speakers at the front of the room. The three speakers are located under the plasma display and will project sound according to which mic is best picking up the sound. You can control the volume of the sound coming from speakers by using the volume button on the telepresence phone. The telepresence phone that controls the telepresence session is located to the right of the instructor station. You can start a session by pressing the scheduled session on the phone's touch screen. When you begin your session, you can choose to share your display with everyone or no one. You can press the appropriate button on the telepresence phone. You can also end a session by pressing the end call button. The classroom auxiliary displays include two side monitors and one projection unit. The images on the instructor workstation or the document camera image can be projected to the auxiliary displays. To switch the display from workstation to document camera, turn the document camera on. You can power on the high definition document camera by using the camera's power button or the dock cam button on the telepresence phone. You can adjust the focus and zoom manually using the controls on the camera head or with the controls on the telepresence phone. For security reasons, there is a secondary phone located in each telepresence room. You can use this phone to make non-telepresence phone calls. No printer or fax machine is connected to the classroom's instructor workstation. When checking email, we ask that you use Microsoft Web Access as opposed to the Outlook client.